Okay, uh, here's a quick video on the animations that I did in class. So this first one, uh, this was a frame-based animation. I have my timeline is out using a frame-based animation and let's let's quickly make uh, animated GIF. So with something like this, you see my layers, here's all my uh, different numbers here. So what I want to do is make a quick video by coming over here, make frames from layers. There we go. Now here's all our frames. Now we don't want this exactly like this. Uh, we would like to have this O, this big circle on all of them. So all I have to do is go to my layer panel, turn it on. Now also this white background, I think we want to have in all our uh, frames here. We might make one little change here. Uh, let's say you want this to be transparent. Uh, let's do that very quickly. Uh, so I'll go to my background layer here in my layer panel. I'll get my uh, magic wand, sample all layers, click in the middle here, and then we could just mask it out. So there we go. This is looking better. Now also what I want to do is now I want this circle like this across all the layers. So I will come to my menu here and say match layer across frames. Yes, match everything. So there we go. This is looking good. Uh, now these first two frames we don't need. Let's select them. Hit the trash. Delete the frames. Yes. Now I want this to count down so we can come over here to the menu and say reverse frames. Now we have to adjust the timing. We want each frame to be one second. So I'll select them all by doing a shift select. Come down to one of these drop down arrows and select one second. Hit the play button. And there's our animation. So after this, then you can just save it. Go to File, Export, Save for Web, and then adjust the size that you want it to appear because this is going to be very, very big. Okay, so that's it for this guy. Okay, now I'm going to do the uh, project that we did where we did some rotoscoping, which is changing it frame by frame. Uh, so we're going to have some writing appear here. I have a background layer. Now this is going to stay static. Uh, try to do things in this order. I think will work best. Come down to the bottom. This should say create video timeline. Make sure you're not using create frame animation. Click on the button. Next thing you probably want to do is change the frame rate. Set timeline frame rate bring it down to like 10 should be okay uh, let's change the duration of our movie so now our movie is very tiny here in our timeline let's bring the slider over a little bit now we can see our time units so our movie right now is five seconds I think it seems to be easier if we make it longer than we need it to be and then trim it down later so let's go around 10 it's probably more than we need now what we need to do, we need to create a video layer where our action is going to take place. So we'll go to a layer, video layers, new blank video layer. There we go. This is where our action is going to take place. I'll call it writing. Now what we need to do, uh, we move, need to move our playhead to the point in the movie that we want this to start. So we can do this either way. We can move the playhead or actually we can move the whole clip over here to where we want this to begin. Uh, let's do it this way, I think. I'll bring the playhead to about uh, two and a half seconds in here. Well, two seconds, five frames. Let me zoom in. Make sure you're on the proper layer when you do this. So I'm in the writing layer. I get my paintbrush. I'm using uh, one of these pencil kind of brushes here. I have a nice blue. So what we need to do 
is we're going to write a little bit and then duplicate the frame. Let's flip this open so we can see the changes to our video. So I'll just draw a little bit, duplicate the frame. Now duplicate the frame, you'll find it in your menu, but I already created a shortcut for myself. So I'm not going to go through that again. I'm sure you can find information on that if you forgot how to do that. So my shortcut is Control-Alt-D. Control-Alt-D and you see the CTI or playhead moves a little bit and that frame has been duplicated. Otherwise when I go to the next frame this would disappear. So if I hit my arrow key see the next frame would be invisible but we don't want that. We need this to stay here. So I'll just draw a little bit. Control Alt D. Start doing the E. Control Alt D. Do a little bit more. Control Alt D. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video and come back to this. Okay, so I could continue that procedure drawing a little bit duplicating the frame, control alt D until I got everything in here. Uh, now I need to continue to duplicate the frame until you know the end of my movie. So I'm just holding down the control and the alt and I'm just tapping my D key until I finish my 10 seconds here. So let's play the movie. Hit the home key to go home hit the space bar to play so after a couple of seconds there we go get milk smiley face okay so hope that helps and let's do another one okay, let's make another video where we're going to do some simple keyframing so what I have here I have a picture I got from the NASA website uh, this is earth rise over the moon here so I want this earth to actually rise so what I did was I split this up let me turn this off I made a layer where there's only the moon surface here uh, then I made another layer uh, which is just the earth now I also uh, added some black background on the top and the bottom so I have some move some room to move the earth over here and let's see how we do this so I have these two layers so again we're going to come down here uh, create video timeline select that button so again by default uh, it comes out to be five seconds we could make this longer if we want uh, we don't really have to but we can so five seconds I think is long enough now we're going to do some very simple animation here so what I need to do is well this bottom layer I'm just going to turn off we don't need that uh, we need the earth over here we want this to rise up so we're going to come over to our timeline over here flip open the arrow now uh, we're just doing something simple we're just changing to position we're not doing any scaling so we don't have to make a smart object if you wanted to uh, enlarge or reduce or spin then you have to make this a smart object but for now we're just changing the position so my timeline over here is at the beginning of the movie so what we're going to do is we're going to click the stopwatch next to the word position over here and then we're going to put our earth where we want it to be in the beginning so I'm just using the move tool so let's drag our earth below the horizon here and then we put our playhead to where we want it to be someplace else so let's say around four seconds we want it to be up then just go back get your move tool so I'm on the earth layer so this moon surface is not going to be changed and drag it up I'm gonna hold the shift key so it doesn't wander back and forth and put it where you want it to be and now when you let go of the mouse Photoshop automatically puts in the second keyframe here for you so you can see when I'm scrubbing there we did a simple keyframe motion so when I play the video there we go and then later if you want to make a change 
if you want it to come up later you could move your first keyframe over and if you want it to rise very fast you could move the keyframes closer together play the movie Oop, there we go so now it sort of zips right up and then when you're done you can render this to a mp4 if you like or you can even save this as a gif a nice little animated gif uh, don't forget to reduce the size when you do your save for web. So that's it for now. Hope this helped.